Yo, 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 Faison Love, man. You need a hug, Playboy. Period. Straight up, man. I don't know why you threw my fucking name and some shit that you started. Remember, you started this. You try to tell a grown ass man who he can hang with. You know what I mean? It started from you. So when a grown ass man come on my podcast and respond to some shit you started, remember, you started this. Telling people where they can hang with and who they can do and all this extra shit. He come on my podcast and express, he didn't even diss you. He said, y'all talk, y'all kept it cordial, y'all have respect for each other. And it was on to the next, you know. But you go on your shit and you dissing him and you dissing me. I don't even know how I come up in a diss. I guess because I did the interview. But at the end of the day, my nigga, I had a co-host. She didn't say shit about him. Uh, bootleg Cab did an interview where he spoke on it too. You didn't say shit about him. So right now, I feel like you aiming for the stars, my nigga. Okay, Yuck Mouth is a big name. I can, you know, get some clickbait off of this shit, bro. At the end of the day, I met you a couple times. I don't know you. So if I know you, if I knew you, I'd call you and we really talk about it. But since niggas is doing internet shit, I got to respond like this. First of all, my G, you started that shit between you and MCA, period. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Second, we entertainers, my G. So once you become an entertainer, man, you really don't got no say-so on real street shit, my nigga. Like, that's going on right now today, period. You don't. Unless you got one foot in and one foot out, you really don't got no say-so on the real street shit. It's like me. I can't tell niggas in my neighborhood, the new millennials, that them grew up and they run in the neighborhood. I can't tell these niggas what to do. We can't tell them what to do. They got some whole new politics and shit that we ain't got nothing to do with. So, okay, we came from that back in the day. But we can't speak on that shit right now. So you can't tell 8 to not hang with Dave East when you did a photo with Alpo. And everybody know Alpo history. We ain't gonna go and disrespect that man like that. But as soon as he got out of jail, you took a picture with him. Nobody said, hey, man, you're hanging with a snitch. Nobody said that shit. He's like, oh, shit, Alpo out of jail. Oh, shit, Faison hanging with a real one. Because regardless of, of him, you know, doing his thing, he was really doing his thing in the streets. He was an animal, you know what I mean? So niggas looking at, oh, you, you hanging with an animal. Nobody said, hey, Faison hanging with a snitch that took out the whole DMV. And you can't do that. And why the fuck you doing that? Nobody said that. So what give you the right to say that on a rapper that ain't did nothing like that? I mean, you say, oh, you can't hang with Davies, Davies. Like, God damn, how can you tell somebody who they can hang with? That's where you fucked up. You know what I mean? Period. Now you're on some other shit. You're digging dirt on dudes and all types of shit. It's like, dude, are you a comedian? Are you a gangster? Are you a troller? Like, what, what we doing right here? That's why I said phase on love turned to phase on hate period we getting a lot of hate we feel a lot of steam and heat coming from that side of the couch my nigga it's like we like you when you was funny my nigga you know we all come from the streets we all could tell a tale about our street shit but if you ain't on that block right now we really shouldn't be talking about street shit we should be telling niggas from the street how we made it out the streets my nigga and giving them advice and giving them game of how to do what you did and what i've done and what mca done and so on and so on and motherfucking day beast how did we get out the hood and get a career and do this that and the third that's what we should be teaching but instead you with the negative shit like you in the hood and you flagging and shit i know you come from that cloth no disrespect to that cloth but why are we speaking on the politics when we do entertainment we do entertainment, my nigga. Let's worry about the next script, the next role. You know what I mean? The next album. I'm worried about the next album I'm putting out. I'm not worrying about no goddamn street politics in Oakland. That's the last shit I'm going to talk about. Period. And get on the blog and tell a nigga from Oakland what he can and can't do. Same with you. You can't tell a nigga from L.A. what he can and can't do. You, we all grown-ass men in our 40s and damn near, I don't know what age eight is. But I know he older than me. So you can't tell no 40 or 50-year-old nigga what to do, bro. That's out of pocket. I mean, period. It's stupid shit. You know what I mean? So, it's still no hate. I ain't got no hate towards you. I'm just responding. I love your comedy. And we need to get back to that, man. Making great movies. They need to hire you for Friday Part 3. You know what I mean? Big Worm need to return, man. Because this little gangster energy, man, it feels right for the motherfucking role of gangsta, uh, fucking Big Worm. You need to do another Big Worm role. Focus that energy and make it pay some money, man. 
all this getting into people's business and who they hang out with, man, that's that's not you. Because nobody did that when you took a picture with Alpo, man. Everybody had respect for you and didn't slander your name or nothing. So I don't think you should be out here slandering people's name for who they hang out with. You was hanging out with it. Ooh, shit. Yeah, buddy. So on that note, man, phase on love, you need a motherfucking hug, man. Period. You went from phase on love to phase on hate. Now you phase on thug, my nigga. I like phase on love, man. Where the love at, bruh? Let's get back to the love, man. Let's get back to the motherfucking mud mud. You did? Because hate never made nobody great, man. You, pimp, you feel me? Hate never made nobody great, man. It just make you look like a motherfucking buster. Make you look like you, you, something is the matter with you, man. You know? But shit that you did, you know what I mean? The movies you played in was legendary. That's great, man. Let's get, let's get back to that, man. Getting them legendary movie roles, legendary comedy roles, man. And let's stick to that, man. The shit that made you great, man. Fuck the street shit, man. Let niggas do whatever they do in the streets unless you're still in the streets. Unless you hung the entertainment shit up and say, fuck that. I'm back in the streets of San Diego and I'm doing my thing and I'm speaking on all this shit. I'm the big OG. If you're doing that, then, hey, then talk your shit. But if you're not, then, bruh, ah, slow down, turbo. I know, I'm out this motherfucker. Yuck Mouth TV, subscribe to your motherfucking guy. Yada.